Mr. Toastmaster, my fellow Toastmasters. I must start by saying that I don't believe you can not teach an, a new dog old tricks. Because for a new dog, every trick is a new trick. So whether you are teaching, for example, a child to use a compass instead of a smartphone, to that child it is something new. And it might even be more exciting because it is tactile. That not only can they see the needle spin, but they can feel it. They can hear it. They can experience the, the, the movement of it, the, the space of it. So I have to say, I reject this notion outright. However, there have been times where technology has just failed me, and it has paid off to listen to others. One of my least favorite examples, and one that I will not tell my wife about, is when I... I'm sorry for the no, interruption. It's okay. But come what do you in. do when there's an interruption? Just come on in. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find you guys. We were going to some place that she knew about, but she wasn't quite sure how to get there beforehand. And instead of going by my intuition and pulling out my phone and raising it, I just let her navigate because it seemed like the right thing to do. She had said she knows how to get there. She fell asleep and she had told me the directions. So I thought, well, now's the time to pull out my phone. So I did. And I promptly got us lost. She was asleep and I didn't want to wake her and the phone was telling me where to go. The problem was the phone didn't catch that the freeway was closed here and this street was closed over here and it just got us all turned around. She woke up and we were in the middle of nowhere and she immediately got us there because we were just around the corner and I had no idea I was circling it. So that was my fortuitous fortuity. 